Hi everyone, it's Jojo. So here is the requested video on how I remove the stains from my vintage linens. I have tried many, many products and these are the ones that work for me. So I use a tub by Bella and it's a 36 quart tub for soaking my linens. I use OxyClean Odor Blaster. I do prefer it over Biz for removing the stains. Persil, I like this for the last step in cleaning the linens and um, a Clorox bleach pen in case the stains don't come out because I don't pre-treat One more thing I forgot to tell you. I also use a Shout Color Catcher um, sheets and I just have to go look for that, but I will show you in the video um, when to use them and how it was the best way. So I hope you all enjoy. I am no way an expert, but I hope this helps you out. Okay, so here is my preferred method of soaking my vintage linens. Um, this is the method where I bring my clear tub that I normally use to soak everything with and I bring it outside. I fill it with warm water and to that I added OxyClean Odor Blaster and I use the dried powder form. So you want to put in the warm water and then just add, you know, half a scoop of this. Um, for this size, it's actually a smaller tub. Um, half a scoop of it, make sure it dissolves in the warm water first, and then add your linens. But the reason why I like doing it outside is because the sun will actually keep the water in the tub warm, and that speeds up the process for removing the stains. As you can see, most of the linens in here are a lighter color. Some of them do have the different embroidery work on them, but I try to keep the color in the tub all either dark or light like you would in a washing machine. But sometimes, depending on how many times they've been washed, um, the darker embroidery thread can bleed into your other linens. So what you wanna do is you wanna add one of these sheets and it's the Shout Color Catchers. And I really like these for the embroidery work just to be on the safe side so nothing bleeds. And if it does, um, those usually do a really good job of catching the color on the sheet and not on the rest of your linens. So this is my preferred method. And like I said, today I'm using the OxyClean Odor Blaster just because I know that it works really well with these types of linens. But you have to be very careful with the OxyClean. Know what your fabric is because if it's silk and they actually list some other fabrics on the back, it can shrink or damage your linens. So these ones I know that's safe to use with, so that's why I used it today. You might have to drain out the water when you come back. This one is actually turning a little yellow, um, and I just put these in there, so I guess I'll see how dark that gets, but I often like to uh, drain it out and then start over again a few times, just so that I can get the clear water and I know that they're getting um, all those, uh, the yellow and stuff out of there. So I'm gonna take a break and I'll come back in an hour and we'll check on this, um, this load, I guess, again. Okay, I'm back and I'm going to check on um, the linens that I put in here and a couple of them that I knew had bigger stains on them. I'm just gonna check to see how they're doing um, and see if it's, if it's coming out at all. I always like doing this because it kinda gives me an idea um, how long I'll need to soak these and if I've seen any progress. The one thing I can tell you about linens is patience. That is definitely a key in getting these stains out because I've left some of these up to three days before um, and they have came out, but if I would have pulled them out um, you know, earlier, the stains wouldn't have come out. So let's see how this is doing. Actually, I'm really pleased with this. Right here, these were fairly dark when I got them. They were almost like a brown color. Now they're light yellow, so that's excellent. I'm very happy about that. And these haven't been soaking that long, so that's great. Very good, very happy with that. I know this one has some stains. Let's see how it's doing. I still see a couple of the black marks over here. Oh, there's still some yellow here. Those yellows are still pretty dark. The good thing about this one is it's all on white, so if those don't come out, I can take a bleach pen to them and get those out. But I like to keep them soaked in here just because you don't know where your linens all come from and that make sure that they're nice and clean when they are finished. 
So yeah, I'm very excited about those. It looks like it's doing well. So, and the water is still really nice and warm in here, which I love. So it's actually a really hot day today. So I'm gonna leave these soaking and I will let you know how long I end up soaking these. Okay, I'm back one more time. Um, as you can see, I've taken out about half of the linens that were in here. Um, it has been about six hours that these have been soaking here outside. And I pulled out all the ones that are now stain free. And um, I rinsed them, you know, rinsed all the water out of them and put them on the side here. And those I'll bring inside and put in my washing machine. Um, these ones here all have some sort of still have a stain on them and this one that it was really um, that stain was really lightening up on it and it's been about the same since I last checked it so I'm really hoping that with some more time that will um, disappear but for now it looks about the same as it did before um, so I'm gonna leave these ones in and possibly these will probably all go in overnight it is about um 5 36 o'clock right now in the evening and um so i will probably just let these go all night out here on my deck the other reason why i absolutely prefer this method is when you switch water out change water out you can do it outside which is great like i really don't like it when all that is in my bathtub and that's why i always put it in in this tub so it's not the water is not all soaking you know where we take a shower and stuff but it's great when you can do it outside because you can just pour all that nasty water and refill it so I'm actually going to switch out this water one more time I've already done it once I'm gonna do it again and then I am gonna just let it soak for the rest of the night and take these ones inside now I probably won't wash these quite yet till morning um, and then I'll see how these are coming along and then I'll wash them all at once when I put them in the washing machine I will then use a product um, called Persil and it is a liquid detergent and I'll actually put those in the soaking cycle in the washing machine prior to washing them. So I'll let them soak one more time in a different product which will actually help clean them and because um, the OxyClean is just basically a stain lifter whereas the Persil actually will clean them and so I will put those in the washing machine um, with the Persil and I'll show you all that tomorrow. But I'm going to go ahead and put the lid back on and I will catch up with you guys probably sometime tomorrow morning. Okay, so it's the next morning and here are my linens. It's a really good thing that I put the lid on the tub last night because it's raining. It's currently raining. So uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drain the water out of here and I'll bring it in the kitchen and then we'll look at it in there. Okay, so I just drained the water out outside and then I brought these linens, what was left in the tub inside. Um, the other good reason for keeping the lid on, um, keeping the rain out of course, but also any debris that's outside, this also keeps it out of your tub. So I'm gonna see how everything's looking. Oh, very nice, I don't even, I don't see the yellow mark on here at all now. Oh, yep, yep, I do. Just a little bit. Really little bit. So I might, I might actually soak that for just a little bit longer today. Because I have a feeling that may come out entirely. It's very, very faint now, but I can see it. All right, so let me see couple of these other ones. Let's see how they're doing. I know this one had, the bird one had a little mark on it, the center. I wasn't sure if it was, it, that actually might just be part of the fabric itself. I'll look at this one. see a couple yellow spots oh there's another one so but they still look about the same as they did before maybe just a little bit lighter so I might just leave that in just just because I'm gonna leave the other one in for a little bit longer but overall they're looking really really nice 
So like I said, patience is key. So I'm going to fill this up one more time and I'll actually do this in here in the house and let it go maybe through this afternoon and then check on it again. That'd be a good 24 hours. So, um, and then if everything is good after that, then I will go ahead and um, stick it in the wash with the other ones that I put in yesterday. Okay, so here I am. I have all my linens in the wash. I actually ended up soaking the linens for a bit longer than I thought. We went out of town. So overall, I would say they were probably soaking for around 30 hours total. Um, and I'm really happy about the way the stains came out and everything. This is what I'll be using. It's the Purcell Pro Clean Power Liquid in the Fresh Linen Scent. And I will actually put this on pre-soak in my washing machine um, one last time and then I'll run the cycle. So after I'm done, I will stick everything in here can go in the dryer. So I'll stick it in the dryer. There was one thing that I pulled out and it was the hosiery, um, the hosiery bag. And that I actually will hand wash, finish hand washing. Um, it just didn't seem like something that should go in the washing machine, be agitated or in the dryer. So when I get these done and dried, I will show you the final results. Okay, I'm ready to show you everything now that it's finished and all clean. I put the bedspread on the table, just like as a tablecloth, because I wanted to just show you the detail work on here. Isn't she pretty? I just love collecting linens. They really are just, especially these embroidery ones, I just know the time and the love that it took into making these, and I, I'm constantly just wowed by the you know work that's been put into them so here's the bedspread and she's actually got little flowers there up the top if you can see and then this one i loved so much that i framed it i put it in a big frame it's still got a couple like bumps to it where i need to smooth it out but i'm going to put it on the wall because it turned out so good and again the detail work and the embroidery is magnificent I'll show you all of these real quick. Um, this one actually I thought was probably the most dramatic change out of all the linens. It actually had like a yellow look to it and it's really just a light pink. So that turned out really cool. I really like that one. Tablecloth, I mean the pillowcase. And I was happy. I didn't really see any stains left over. So these were really not in terrible condition to begin with. So This one did still um, actually have that dark spot on it. Um, and I did try to put a bleach pen and it really didn't do anything. So that is just gonna stay that way. But overall she turned out great. A couple more. And I think that's the last one. So I hope you really enjoyed this video. Like I said, I'm not an expert or anything, but I have had a lot of success when it comes to um, removing the stains out of the linen. So I hope this um, helps you so you're not nervous about cleaning the items that you have. And good luck everyone. If you do clean your linens uh, using this process uh, and they turn out great, send me a picture on Instagram. I love to see them. Especially if you take it before and after, that would be awesome. So thank you so much. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already and uh, leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you think. Or if you have different ways of cleaning your linens, let me know that too. Because I know there's a lot of different processes out there. Thanks. Bye.